everyone, it's Lydia and I have a project share today. So these are some guest design team projects for Julie who's over at Craft Supplies 1. I will have links down below to her Zibit and Etsy shop where you will find beautiful gorgeous flowers. I love playing with Julie's flowers. They're just super beautiful. Love the textures and the colors. They're really unique and she just has loads of embellishments. So um, follow the link and take a peek and see what she has. So this week I was playing with the cute little birdies that Julie sent me. These are about two inches long and I put these on my favorite list. I was able to favorite what I wanted to play with and sometimes I'll see projects with little birdies and I want to give it a try. I want to play but I don't have any birds. So this is definitely something you want to have in your crafting stash. Uh, birds and birds nests. So anyway, these are so cute. And here's one where I covered him in some diamond dust. This stuff right here. Doesn't he look cute? Super adorable. So I played with the birdies. And I also played with some of the pearls that Julie sent me. She has these in her shop. And I used these flowers. So I have white and like an off-white or like a buttery yellow, I guess. And then these two-tone pink flowers. So pretty. These are like my favorites. I love, love these. They look like cottage roses and they're two-toned. They're like a white with a very pale, like a peach or a pink wash. Very beautiful. I played with those. And also the white rosebuds. These are really pretty and you can also shimmer miss these. They're paper flowers. They will take the um, shimmers very well. And then I played with this one here and it comes like this, but I took it apart. So these look like little millinery flowers. I took those apart and I took these apart. And I'll show you what I created in a minute. So here's project number one. I actually created three projects. So this is a cute little birdhouse from Michaels and I received this one from Marcia. Flat gold and thank you Marcia. So finally, I mean, she gave this to me maybe a year and a half ago and I had it in my uh, bin of things to alter. So finally altered my first birdhouse. The papers are Prima's Botanical. They're really pretty papers. And I did some modeling paste here technique with the Prima stencil. I added some lace here that I received from Letty. Thank you, Letty. Was it Letty? Let me check, double check. Yes, Letty, Crafty Girl 101. And then here I have a resin piece, a uh, clay piece that I created. Here's a super cute little bird and I just hot glued him right onto the little um, post here, stick, whatever you call that thing, the perch. And I added some pretty uh, clear beads here and Julie does have clear beads in her shop. They're really pretty. And what else did I do here? I have a little woodsy piece and here are more flowers from Craft Supplies 1. Here's the white. I actually rubbed some um, ink on here. can't remember the color right now. My goodness, it's the lavender one. I will list it down below. So I rub some of the lavender ink on there, Distress Ink, and then here are the white rosebuds, and I have a little Martha Stewart butterfly punch, and that's the back of the little birdhouse, and I also papered the bottom. So that turned out super cute. That is project number one with the birdie, and then the second thing I altered was this wood spool that I received from Marla H and it came with this beautiful um, twill measuring tape ribbon and I love it and it's just gonna make a wonderful display in my craft room and you can also add these little birdies on regular you know the smaller uh, thread spools they look so cute and just you know add some flowers it looks like the bird gathered some things for her nest so I have a doily here the doilies are available at Julie's um, shop I have a resin flower here. I have the beautiful paper flowers from Craft Supplies 1. Here again is um, some of the clear beads, bead strands. I have a tiny little spool with some ribbon. I have a vintage thimble. This is actually silver, a silver thimble and it's tarnished. There, you can get a good shot there. And I filled it with some beads from Julie's shop. There again is the bird, super cute. And I have here a bauble. Julie has these in her shop also. I have a little Tim Holtz gear tucked in there. And the bird is sitting on one of these flowers. And I just love 
pulling out the middle the little bud piece and then you flatten it out so I made a little nest out of the flower and that's where I added my bird and then these leaves are all come with the flowers so that's project number two I love it I have a little clear button in here too love 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 this one and um yeah that's gonna go that's gonna be displayed in my craft room so that is project number two and then my third project I altered a large clothespin that my sister gifted to me thank you sis I have a little glue here glue strand on here and I have altered these before but normally I have altered them in the vertical position but this time I did horizontal I thought that this would make a fabulous nameplate or a paperweight so I covered it the paper that I used here is Prima's Madeline thank you Irene Kathy Irina gifted that one to me papered the bottom papered the top I um, gessoed the pin and I shimmer misted it with some Lindy's and again I have a crochet uh, doily here that you can find at Julie's shop super cute bird's nest this I got a Hobby Lobby and I'll have the information down below again here's that super cute little birdie and he's glittered now on this one I altered him a bit what I did was I gessoed him twice to make him lighter so this is how he comes originally or she and what I did was I added uh, two or three coats of gesso and the top remained this very light color which I like and then I dipped the bird in the diamond dust here's um, a little pearl that I tucked in there from Julie's shop here's one of the gorgeous flowers in blue the rosebud these letters I received from Bona who's live love scrap when we had our swap love these and it spells swap and you know how we have words in our craft room ladies like create inspire swap rack so this is going to be a wonderful addition to my room plus you know the towels came from Bona hello <laughs> so I you know I'm going to definitely keep those and then I have a um, two-toned pink flower here another bubble and Julie has those in her shop and more beautiful flowers here's a rosebud and then in here I tucked a tiny little cork from my stash and then of course the bird gathered goodies in his nest or her nest I should say gathered goodies for her nest and I have another craft supplies uh, one flower here that I added some ink to in lavender again some more clear bead strands I have a tiny little light bulb here's the tiny little flowers from here they look like little millinery flowers I pulled one out and tucked it here here's another little crochet flower and then I have an acrylic flower from Julie shop right there in pink and here you can see again another of the tiny little millinery flowers and a bauble so those are my projects for this week guys thanks for watching everyone post a comment if you wish subscribe have a fabulous day thank you so much ladies for watching my videos posting comments I love re reading them and I really appreciate all of you taking the time to stop by and post comments Head on over to Craft Supplies 1 and check out her goodies. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.